you understand that your art can be an answer, even if nobody sees it, or even if it doesn't really make any changes in the world, but there is a way for you to, you know, to, have, to respond to a, a situation. When I was around 15 years old, I became interested in music, uh, especially underground music during dictatorship. It was the very last years of dictatorship, so things were more open and, you know, you were able to go to those shows that weren't dangerous anymore. Um, but they were still underground and kind of um, um, difficult to know where they were because they weren't very advertised. But once you get there, it was okay, you know? Before it was like a super dangerous, police will come and take everybody to the police station and have people have to, you know, sleep there, you know, something, you know? Um, but was inter what was interesting that since during dictatorship it was so difficult to be a, an artist for people, music became a very important tool because it was a, it was a very simple, to put together a show and it was very easy to take it apart and or take it down and you know make it look as if nothing happened here or at least you can just run away you know if if police were coming so that was the the beginning of uh, those music shows they were very very simple they were made in very like a, a marginal places outside you know the the centers but that was the that was the the the, the real, let's say, the, the real resistance to the, to the uh, establishment. Mm -hmm. And people were doing recordings live, you know, you would bring your cassette and record the, the, the gig, and then people would pass those cassettes, you know. So that was, for me, was an obsession. Well, I was very into doing that. I became a hobby and I became a collector of a lot of music. Actually, when I started, the label, one of the first bands that I approached was one of the bands that I loved from that time that never published their recordings. So that was one of the first vinyls I, 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 I produced. And the band is called uh, Pinochet Boys. When I started working with, with Lights, which was uh, already in, high, in, uh, in art school, Mm -hmm. At the, the last two years of art school, I was already working with, uh, I started working with, with fluorescent light, with light bulbs. Um, I was, uh, the only thing I knew was the tradition of art in Chile. People who were working with those materials since the 60s. But and then I only really understood the work of American artists when I moved to, to New York. Before it was like seeing a book and being, being seeing images of, you know, who knows what it was, you know, you, you have no idea what it is. Especially when I was uh, young, I never traveled that much. I, my first trip outside Chile was actually to here, to France, and I was, uh, that was, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure that was the first time I took an airplane. It was uh, I was uh, 22 years old. My brother was here doing a residency, and then he said, I'm going to take you to see some galleries mm, in Paris. So it was an exhibition in this room, and it was a uh, turkeys, you know, turkey, the animal, you know, with wigs. It was a very cool show, very interesting. And when I saw that show, I said, wow, you can do whatever you want once you're an artist. Because you are used to see a sculpture, um, paintings, you know, drawing, but these was, were, were animals, um, you know, real animals with a assemblage of things, you know? So it, it was a, like a, almost like a living sculpture. So that um, blew my mind, yeah. It, it didn't trigger new work, but it, but it did trigger to understand what I, what I wanted to do. I, I, it gave me some confidence, you know? Because I was already working with electricity and with lights, but it, it, it really gave me, um, it gave me this uh, security to say, well, I can choose this or I can choose that and it's, it's okay, it's fine. I feel that I, 
I'm happy with what I chose, you know, because it's very free to, to be a, an artist. You can really experiment into many different, you know, medias or, or like practices. You can become a, you know, mix arts with science, you know, or whatever, architecture, many things. Art is, is always, is very flexible. So you can always connect it to something if you, if you feel an interest. The only problem with art is that, with art, is that you never specialize your practice in, in anything, you know, because you're always connecting in one way to something, but you're never a scientific, you're never an architect, because you are constantly, you know, connecting your work to different things. So that's frustrating sometimes. I always say that it is to, to take more seriously what you do as a pleasure you know, what's your real passion, you know, if you like to collect stamps, you know, maybe that could be an interesting artwork, you know, but uh, you can really go deep into, you know, what it means, what it is, a stamp, there is a whole history about stamps, you know, and, the, and what's the difference between working with the stamps and doing a print, you know, they're both prints, you know, you can start making a lot of uh, connections. Or people who like um, like uh, me, I I was uh, I start collecting cassettes, you know, and then I took that seriously, you know, and you know, that's what I I love when you do something with passion. If not, it's it's just why would you do it, you know? Mm -hmm.